The New Zealand population currently suffers under some colonial era originated money system funding structures. And I know that's kind of techno, techno jargon, but basically what we are currently enduring as a society is a counterfeit credit pyramid fraud that can never be paid back. So what I mean by this is when you see the debt in society, when, when people talk about debt, what they're talking about are claims on, on what? What is debt? It's a claim on, on what? See, when you take a systems view, a true scientific systems view, and look at what's actually happening on the planet today, you understand that there's more debt in existence than money to pay it back because the interest charged doesn't exist in the money supply outright. So it's a counterfeit credit pyramid fraud. It can't ever be paid back. And what insults me the most from the politicians right across the coloured spectrum that we see is that they pretend that this fraud is real. They pretend like it's some sort of physical, natural law like gravity. And they pretend that we can actually pay that debt back. So when they talk about a government surplus, what they're talking about is more private debt somewhere in the system to cover that. And we all know this, but it's just taboo to say it. You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to point out the fact that when the government makes a surplus, the public is suffering. And that's really what structural violence is. Uh, the, more, the, more, the more debt we have on the planet and the more money we pretend to have to pay it back, uh, the, the worse things are going to get as the current social model continues to break down. And the punchline of the whole thing is that even with the ecological crisis on hand, all the multicoloured money party can imagine is more growth of this cancerous growth model so that the population can go out and buy more crap they don't need with money borrowed from nowhere to impress people they don't like just to maintain GDP and jobs. When first elected to power in 1935, the New Zealand Labour Party implemented a real house price versus average income bubble solution of issuing sovereign public credit to build state housing at cost price only, without the impost of private owners of banks' interest charges. Of course, this could be done again today for the very same reasons, in transition to the new emerging social model. But the New Zealand Labour Party of today, in the main, have no clue of the party's very founding ideals of money system reform. And so the cancerous board game continues. But how do you bail out a planet? There is no country out there that isn't now saturated in debt. The cascade of sovereign debt defaults we have seen can only be the beginning when the math is taken into account. It has been estimated that 60% of countries will be bankrupt by 2060. So, wait a minute, let, let me get this straight. When you have every country on the planet owing money to every other country on the planet, what is that? I mean, what the hell is that? It's absolutely insane, that's what it is. <laughs> this idea that you can solve a debt crisis with even more debt is the most hilarious thing to me. It's like throwing oil on a fire thinking it's water. Who does the planet Earth owe the money to? Uranus? So you have to ask yourself, even though it's a fiction, it's an elaborate fiction, if this is the psychology at work here, of scarcity, then how do we ever expect to rebuild an energy infrastructure? How do we ever expect to budget out for all the grand revisions that are really required if we're supposed to keep using money, of course. But what do you mean that the banking industry has an unfair influence on our elections? You know, and it's just simple. I don't want to do an advertisement for you, but that is beautiful air. Yes.
Well, you might have a big fat mortgage and a big fat interest rate to service that mortgage, and I certainly do. But what if we told you that the money the bank lent you doesn't actually exist? You're paying interest on a loan that's been conjured up out of thin air. Sounds crazy.